All right, so the algebraic process of combining rectangular pieces and creating one bigger rectangle is called factor by grouping. So let's do other examples here of factor by grouping and see how it works for different types of polynomials. We're going to look at trinomials of degree 2. All right, so let's take a look at how we would visualize 3x squared plus 8x plus 4 geometrically. It's important that we assume for now that x's are going to stand for positive real numbers and large enough so you can actually visualize the rectangles. So how can we visualize x squared? Well, the word alone tells you how you can visualize it. x squared would be a x by x squared, and 3x squared would mean three of those. So we have three squares that are lengthened with x. What about 8x? We have eight rectangles that are of the length x and width 1. And 4, so that would be four small squares of length and width 1. So let's see if we can put those together. So we have x squared, x squared, x squared. That's 3x squared. We have x times 1. So this one yellow piece here, rectangle here, is 1x. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have eight rectangles of area x. And then we have four little squares of area 1. OK? So now here's your task. Move these pieces around to see how you're going to form a rectangle out of it. It's not a rectangle right now. So go ahead and do that. Uh, if you have algebra tiles, or you can use virtual algebra tiles. We'll do the first one for you. So it's like a jigsaw puzzle, and you're putting it together. All right, so let's move the 3x squared over here and see how we can put the remaining 8x. Clearly, we can turn this little piece and fit them up right here or sideways here. Those are the only two places it can go. So let's see. If we put one of them here, then you would have to put one, two, three to make a rectangle. But if you put three, then there'll still be five left, and we can't put five here. It won't work. So we'll just put two, two, and two. That will make it six. So if you put six x, so that's the six x, and then the remaining two x, let's put them sideways here. Because if you put them upright here, they're not going to make a rectangle. And now we have this little gap that we can fill in with these red squares. So let's do that. All right, so now we have a perfect rectangle. So we have 3x squared plus 6x, which is these six strips right there, plus the 2x, which is right there, and the 4, which is right here. So those are all the pieces that we've rearranged. So look at how it looked before, and look at how it looks now. So we have taken these pieces, moved them around, so now it's a perfect rectangle. And then see how we can rewrite it. So we have 3x from here to here, and x plus 2 from here to here. Why? Because this is x, 1, 2. So this is x plus 2. This is x plus x plus x, 3x. So this right here, these three greens and these six yellow will make a rectangle together of the length 3x times x plus 2. Let's look at this bottom, the two yellows and the red. From here to here, it's 2. From here to here, it's x. From here to here, it's 2. So again, it's going to be x plus 2, right? which is what this width is here, times 2. So 2 times x plus 2. All right, now you can see that if you look at this big rectangle, then it's 3x plus 2 times x plus 2, which is this right here. So if you take algebraic tiles, that's what these tiles are called, algebraic tiles. All right, you want to hear a funny story? When I first started doing these problems to help my students and using geometry to help understand algebra, I thought I was inventing something really cool. However, it turns out that algebra tiles have existed for a long time. I did not invent anything new, although I thought I was inventing something new. Other people have used these methods to do factoring for a long time. So. Nothing new, but very useful because it really does under, make you understand how factoring works and how geometry and algebra are connected. 
All right, so now let's see. What if it didn't have algebra tests? Can we do this same process, you know, algebraically? The answer is yes. So you don't have to keep drawing these algebra tests, but it's good to use it in the beginning. So let's see how we came up with the 6 and 2 split. That's called factor by grouping. So we're using factor by grouping for trinomials, ax squared plus bx plus c kind. So we're using factor by grouping for quadratic um, polynomials here. So let's take a look. We take a look at 3x squared plus 8x plus 4. And my recommendation is that first factor out any uh, greatest common factor they all share. Once you've pulled that out, then look at the remaining terms. Take the highest degree term and the lowest degree term and multiply them together. Multiplying them together will give you 12x squared. Now think of two numbers that multiply to give you 12x squared, but add to give you 8x. So clearly, the both terms must have an x in it. And so really, just think of two numbers that multiply to give you 12, but add to give you 8. And so you can see how 6 times 2 is 12. So 6x plus 2x add up to 8x, but multiply to give you 12x squared. And that's how you can split the 8x. So the term 8x can be split as 6x plus 2x. And then first two terms, last two terms, 3x squared plus 6x. You can see 3x is their greatest common factor. So you can rewrite this as 3x times x plus 2. Between 2x plus 4, you can pull out a plus 2 and again write times x plus 2. And now 3x plus 2 times x plus 2 is how you would add that. Or you can think of it as x plus 2 is their greatest common factor that you're pulling out. All right, so this is how the algebraic factor by grouping method works. Many people use trial and error method to factor trinomials. I don't like personally that method because it works very good in certain examples, and other examples it may not work, and you might get stuck. This is a sure way of factoring. In fact, you know, most of my education took place in India, and I never heard of factor by trial and error until I came to United States. So it's important that you learn this method, even if you are good at factor by trial and error, in case you ever get stuck. Because this is a sure mathematical way of getting factors if you are stuck. All right, so enough of that. Let's take a look at what virtual algebra ties look like to do the following problem. 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. So I'm going to ask you, copy this website. Pause the video and go to a website right now to do this example on your own. So I'm going to click on that website so you can see how to run it. All right, so if I hatch an x squared, so here's my x squared, or here's my x. Now, it's a little too big here because I want to make sure that 2x squared fits here. So I'm going to take, see the slider? It can make it big or small. So I'm going to make the x squared about that big, just so I can have two of them. All right, so now here's 2x squared. We need seven x's. So here's one of them, which I, if you want to turn it, you just have to go to the side here so it turns it. So here's 7x. So let's get 7x. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. OK, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oops, 6 and 7. So you have 7 x's. So how do you think we should fit it? Oh, what else do we have? Uh, plus 6. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. OK? We have to uh, arrange these so that they form a rectangle. Here is the clue. Once you have a rectangle out of the x squares, then you know these have to go in the corner here. So you have choices. You can go 3 this way and 2 sideways. Or you can go 2 and 3 this way. Any choice you have. So let's try, what if I go this way? If I do that way, then remember, this x can only go this way, or it can go sideways here. So what do you think? Is that going to work? Well, no, because let's see. If we put this way, then you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then you'll need one more, so 8. You'll need 8. So that's not going to work. What if I go down here? 
So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that works. So let's do that. Let's try that. So here we have one. To turn this, we'll go to the side like that and have two and three, four and five, six and seven. So there is my 2x squared plus 7x is plus 6. And so now it's a rectangle. So what are the factors here? It's going to be x plus 2 times 2x plus 3. So x plus 2 and 2x plus 3. x plus 2 and 2x plus 3. That was our answer. All right, here's your video log question. See what you can do. We do want you to play with algebra tiles. So use virtual algebra tiles, or you can make your own rectangles and see if you can use those to factor these using factor by grouping.